Weathermaker 9200 gas furnace. Yeah, it's not lighting. It's probably the igniter. Um, yeah, I got this, bought this house less than a year ago, and um, it's starting to. Well, it's not really running too well. The igniter keeps going off. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I mean that's the model number. Yeah, looks like built with pride. Quality, reliability, and pride in Tennessee. Yes, sir. I mean, it's old. What is this age? 25 years? Um, yeah. So it's old. Um, yeah, the coils look pretty good, I thought. Pretty clean. I guess they might have had it serviced before they sold it. That was a nice little... Um, Coils look nice and clean. I wiped them down a little bit just with a soft brush, nothing fancy. Um, but yeah, the igniter, you could tell it wasn't igniting in here. No, no lights are coming on. But first of all, before you do any of this, make sure your power is off. There it is, turned off. Get some gunk out of here. Um, yeah, so I got the igniter out. Um, you gotta move this PVC pipe. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain. And, um, you know, I saw another video on here. He works it out with a flat headed screwdriver. And that kind of works. I kind of forced it though, unfortunately. Being a little impatient. And so I broke the clip. So it looks like I'll, I might have to buy another one. And you can see I broke the, busted the, uh, the igniter so um, I haven't gotten the new one yet this should be coming before 8 thanks to Amazon but uh yeah so I busted this I might have to go buy a new one of these guys I don't know I'll try to fit it in I guess partially we'll see what happens but yeah so that's the inside of a weather maker 9200 that's not igniting there you go if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.